Hi there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to go through how to shade and light this Toon Attic interior scene. And I'd just like to thank Alex Mateo, very talented 3D illustrator, lighter and grooming artist, for providing this attic scene, which you can download here. Also recommend you have a look at this lighting breakdown of the Attic Studio. Uh, you can buy it for a small fee. I uh, definitely recommend doing so. It has some great production lighting uh, techniques and is well worth a watch. Okay, so I've downloaded the Attic Scene and uh, opened it in Maya. It doesn't have any lighting, so i start off by creating a point light. And I'm going to increase the exposure to something like 15. And just position it so it's by the, the desk light here. Okay, and then I'm going to assign a tune shader to everything. So assign a material tune shader. And going to change the base color. It's got like a cool blue color. And maybe I just add a little bit of emission as well with the same color. Uh, I have got the filter type set to contour, so by default it will be set to Gaussian, which won't show any of the tune edges, so just make sure you set that to contour at the bottom there. Okay, so back to the tune shader. Going to reduce the angle threshold to give us some more edges, something like 10 should give us more, a lot more detail in the scene. And then to get that rough uh, sketch look that uh, we had here in this scene, this kind of kind of charcoal pencil look. We can connect an ambient occlusion shader to the mask color. That'll give us that effect. By default, it will look too much. We need to increase the, the black levels. Like 0.97, can always increase the samples to improve the quality. Maybe, maybe might take that down a bit. In the 0.95, it's too much. 0.93, yeah, that'll do. Okay, and then lastly for the lighting, I'm just going to create a directional light for the moonlight. So create lights, directional light. Uh, it doesn't matter where you move it or scale it. I'm just going to scale it up so I can see it. It's the rotation that counts. So just rotate it so that it's pointing through the window and onto the floor. Maybe just increase the exposure so we can see it better there. So we're getting a nice highlight on the telescope there as well. Okay, so that's one style. Let's create another style. I'll go for something like a little bit more retro, it's like, a, um, like a point and click uh, adventure style, pixel art style. Okay, so let's start this stuff from scratch. Just create a new two material again. And just put the angle threshold down. This time we're going to add a tone map to the base color. So under base, base tone map, just create a, a ramp RGB. And then we can change the interpolation to none. This will give us a nice gradation effect. So just add a couple more here, maybe a light gray here. And just change this to a darker gray. And just push these down, push this back here. So we can something like that. Let's go back to the base color, change the base color to the color we had a bit before. A bit lighter. And there's also the rim lighting, so we can add some rim lighting, reduce the width, and increase the tint so it tints the, the base colour. See how it's affecting the, the shading and the lighting in the scene. So if we used to move the, the point light, you can see how that's affecting the, the base tone map in the, in the scene. So if we go into the render settings and reduce the camera A sample to something like one, we'll get more of a, an aliased pixel art style look to the to the scene. Okay, so that's how to shade and light the attic interior using tune shading. Thanks for watching. Bye.